In today's video, I want to talk about how I am monitoring my helium hotspots after the Solana migration. I'm going to look at two separate programs to monitor your hotspot. And the first one is Hotspotty. Now the Hotspotty I have used since the beginning when Hotspotty first came out. And that's really how I looked at monitoring my hotspots and seeing what was wrong and, and how to get a lot of information that wasn't really provided by the official Helium app. Now, where crypto's at right now, Hotspotty doesn't work for me. Because if you look at the pricing, it's, it's expensive. You know, if this was a one-time charge of whatever amount, I would be all in on this. I love the features. I love the website. I love the layout of this, this, this product. But I have 22 hotspots. And at 22 hotspots, it would cost me $14.30 a month. It would just constantly eat into the profits that I'm making each month. Again, I would be open to a one-time payment, but to continually pay this every month is not something that I'm looking at. So I'm going to show you at what I have transitioned to since the Helium to Solana blockchain migration. And here's the app that I'm using now since I have transitioned from Hotspotty, and that's Helium Geek. It's an app you download on your phone. I will have a link to this uh, app in the description so you can download it. It is free and they do have a paid version so that you can get rid of the ads if that's something that you want. But this is what this Helium Geek app provides. A snapshot of your vitals, rewards analysis, improve your coverage area with ease, stay on top of your hotspots activity. Uh, it has widgets if that's something you're interested in. If you have an Apple Watch, then obviously this is something that you can, you can add to it as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the app so I can show you what this is going to look like on your phone once you download it. After downloading Helium Geek, this is what it's going to look like when you first open it. What you're going to do is come down to this monitor your hotspot, and you're going to tap this so that you can type in your hotspot name. And all I'm going to do is just simply type in something to bring up a random hotspot skinny blue we'll just go with the top one all you do is just tap on whichever hotspot is yours that you want to monitor and now what the what the great benefit of this app is is that if you have more than one hotspot it's going to say that hey you only typed in one of the hotspots that's in your helium wallet there's another hotspot there do you want to add it this way you don't have to go in and add each one manually so in this instance, all I'm going to do is say, add other hotspot, right? And now all the hotspots that are within my Helium wallet are here so I can monitor them. Now that you've added the hotspots, the first thing that you can do is you can come up to this little gear icon to see what settings that you can change within the app that pertain to your particular case. You can, uh, you can remove ads just by purchasing. And again, if you purchase it, you can see it's $14.99, a one-time charge. The mode, if you happen to have mobile, then you know you can switch it back and forth and it will give you the rewards in mobile. Reward period, you can do from UTC midnight, which is when the uh, Helium rewards are paid out after UTC midnight every day. I just do the last 24 hours. Sort by reward or you can change it to however you want. You can tag uh, the group info, reward units, USD, HNT, Euro, whatever your reward units are, and you can create tags, and then it's got some, some other stuff right there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back, and we are going to go into one of our hotspots. But just when you open this up, you can see your beacons, your witnesses, like you've got some really good information right here just from the, the snapshot, right? So let's just go into skinny blue Dotson. Here is that snapshot of what's going on with your hotspot. It shows your beacon just a, just a few minutes ago, witnesses. You can scroll on down. You can see your rewards. And this is something that I really use because I do have hotspots that are uh, 
other locations. And this is what I'm going to use going forward on how much I pay them each month. This is what I'm going to use, the 30 days. What you'll do is um, go into this daily option and you can go back and you can look at each day and what it produced and how much. You can even come up to this little graph, if you will, and it will show you kind of a breakdown of your rewards and what's going on. I'm going to click back and I want to scroll down and show you a little bit more like your rewards analysis. You can go in here. It can show you exactly what's going on with your hotspot, which is really nice. Click back. We can scroll on down. You can look at neighbors. We can go back. Now, this is uh, the notifications is an area in which you can get to where you do pay those monthly fees, if you will, just like Hotspotty. And in this particular instance, this is what you will get by paying this additional cost each month. And then it shows what, what each hotspot would cost you. Now, if this is something that you were looking to do, and remember, I've got 22 hotspots, this would be more expensive than what the hotspotty was. So if this was something that I was truly interested in, I would go probably with the hotspotty unless they kind of change the pricing here. This isn't that important to me because I know every day after UTC midnight, which is from 5 p.m. till sometimes my rewards don't even show up until about 7, 7.30 p.m. here in California. I can go in then and see what my rewards are. I don't need an alert. I am constantly opening my app on my phone and seeing what's going on with the app. If, if there is a hotspot that's kind of down or it's not working properly, then that's, how, that's what I'm doing. Just kind of that manual checking in and seeing what's going on with the miners. Same thing with the reward notifications. This is what you'll get. But again, you're going to be paying a monthly fee to get these alerts. And again, this is just not something that I'm that interested in because if I did want to pay the monthly fee just because of the pricing model that Helium Geek is using versus Hotspotty, I would, I would go the Hotspotty route. One of the, the really nice things that I love is down here in the commission mode. You see it says none right now. You can tap that none and you can choose paying or receiving. And I'll show you how this works. I'll choose paying. And underneath the percentage, you can change it, you know, whatever the percentage of the agreement is that you have with the, the people that you have these partnerships with, where your, where your miner is located. And I'll just choose 50% because that's what, that's what I'm doing. You could choose to only show my share, but, but I just want to show you how this works. So put it on 50% and then come back up to the daily. And when you select that, what you'll do is just tap anywhere in here and it will show you exactly what your rewards are versus the, the other person's based on whatever that percentage is. Now, the, the main thing that I'm going to use is this 30 days. This is what's going to help me um, pay out every month. So at 30 days is when I'm going to do that. I wish there was another option in which each month it would be some sort of, you know, like if it went in and it said last month, these were the rewards versus the 30 days. I just have to really be on top of at the end of 30 days going in here and seeing what those rewards are so that I can accurately pay out the people that I do have these agreements with. Okay. At the bottom, there's one more little feature I want to go over and that is the tag. And this is really nice. You can tap that none and what you can do is you can say that this is my hotspot, my friends, my neighbors, watch list, whatever. So just to show you how this will look, I'll say this one is my hotspot. I'm going to go up to back and you'll see it says my hotspot. And then this one says untagged. I'm going to go on this one. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap none. And we're going to say, um, let's say my friends. When you go back, you can see that it shows this little uh, tag. And what's really great about this is if you've got 20 that are yours and then you've got 10 that are at other locations and those are people that you are 
you know, you have an agreement with, you can keep those separate and, and not have to sift through and kind of find out which ones are mine, which ones uh, do I have these agreements with and which I'm paying these rewards out. It's a, it's just a really, really nice feature to have kind of simple, but I like it. Now, again, this isn't perfect. And I do hope that this app gets better. I hope, I really hope that Hotspotty kind of updates what they're doing with their app. I mean, I would even be willing to pay $4.99 a month, $4.99 a month, but paying $15 a month, that's just, it's, it's just kind of unreasonable in my opinion. Again, that's, that's just, that's just my view, but I hope that there are a couple more features that are added to this particular app, such as those monthly rewards, instead of just really having to focus on the last 30 days and staying on top of what's going on. Or maybe even if there was some sort of uh, thing in which it can just send you uh, an email or uh, a file each month on the first of the month for last month's rewards. That way you have everything kind of uh, kept in a record so that you can go back and pay your uh, people that are hosting your hotspot that you have those agreements with. So I hope this video was helpful so that you can keep up with your hotspot. What's going on in real time since this Solana migration and help you to uh, manage your hotspots. Thanks for watching.